I want to talk about middle-aged men. OK, you're 35, maybe 40, you've got a bit of spare cash in the bank, and you want to buy yourself a big, powerful sports bike because you weren't allowed one when you were 17 because your mum and dad said no. Now, there are going to be a few problems with that. This is what you'll have in mind. The open road tearing through the countryside, the wind in your helmet. You and the machine in perfect harmony. It is an appealing concept. The reality, however, is somewhat different, because let's be honest, you're middle-aged, so you'll have a bit of a gut, and that'll look ridiculous in your leather romper suit. What's more, you're almost certainly going to crash, so someone who you perhaps don't like very much will end up with your eyes. Don't worry, though, because I think I have a solution. This is the Atom from a small Somerset company called Ariel. And when I say small, it only has seven employees. What they've created, though, is stunning. I think this is one of the most beautiful cars in the world, partly because it's so elegant and partly because it's such a wonderful piece of engineering. Using the chassis as a kind of exoskeleton is just inspired. <laughs> Prices start at under £20,000, and for that you get indicators, lights, a tax desk, and that's about it. Not only don't you get a windscreen, there isn't even any bodywork. There really are very few components, and the lovely thing is, is that as you drive along, you can see them all doing their jobs. Look, there's the steering and there's the suspension. It's brilliant! Now, at this point, you're probably thinking the Atom is a bit of a laugh, a bit of a gadget, a bit of a toy. But you'd be wrong. Very wrong. You see, the engine is lifted from a Honda Civic Type R. And then, for that little extra something, it's supercharged, so it develops 300 brake horsepower. And because the Atom only weighs 500 kilograms, it means you're getting 600 brake horsepower per tonne. And that's more than you get from a Ferrari Enzo. So, stick that in your sports exhaust, Mr Kawasaki. <laughs> this car goes like nothing you can possibly imagine. If you can change gear fast enough, it'll do 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The Atom is fast! On an entirely new level! I have never, ever driven anything that accelerates so fast! It's so quick, it can destroy your entire face. it stopped bending my face and used massive g-forces to tear it off the amazing thing is is that you never ever you never miss an apex because you can see where the wheel hits the road and because there's no weight to pull you out of line you hit everyone every single time if anything, this car's even more impressive in the bends than it is in a straight line. Anyone who wants to know how a car should behave should drive one of these. <laughs> this is driving Nirvana. You can forget anything you've ever driven, anything. There is no car, nothing on four wheels is as fast as this. Nothing. But what about two wheels? Is it possible that the Atom could be faster round our track than a motorbike? Well, to find out, we've lined it up against a Honda CBR 600 Double R. <laughs> Off the line, the bike is a tiny bit faster, but 
Under breaking for the first corner, the Atoms slid past. And then it really was a case of goodbye, Mr. Bond. Through the bend, the bike never stood a chance, and even down the long back straight up to 120 miles an hour, it couldn't keep up. By the time we crossed the line, the gap had widened to a massive four seconds. Over the years, I've flown F-15 fighters and done power slides in airboats and strafed the desert from helicopter gunships, but for sheer excitement, this thing is off the scale. Even so, there will still be those who say that no car, no matter how fast it is, can ever be as exciting as a big bike. Oh, please! I mean, I don't have to wear a helmet in here, which means my epiglottis is full of bees. And there's so much wildlife in my hair, you could film an episode of Badger Watch in there. And what's more, this is the engine air intake. It's sucking air in here. And I can feel it as a pressure difference in my ear. It feels like my brains are being sucked out. Not as exciting as a bike. Yeah, right. I was so ready to disagree. I've ridden bikes all my life and I was going to say rubbish, but I, I think you're probably right. No, it is. It's better than a bike in so many ways. I mean, it's sitting here, it's not falling over. No. It's <laughs> faster than a bike, as we've just seen, and it's more practical than a bike because it has a boot. Well, hang on now. You are getting a bit giddy there. I think you've overreached yourself. You were going well, but it hasn't got a boot. It has. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is a boot, big no, enough that, for that fish. It really isn't a boot. But, seriously, you did get a bit carried away there. You said, oh, fastest thing on four wheels. It's not. I mean, there are track day cars that are quicker than that. Yeah, possibly. but I don't see this as a track day car. I don't, because I had this on the road. You can use it on the road because the test that we have for our power board, because yeah. only road cars can go on this, is whether they can get over a speed bump, whether you could use them. And this can. I know, it, it is definitely a road car. Which so means... it can go on our power board, yes. which means we've got to give it to the Stig. And away he goes, like a rocket! God, that is so quick. Now, he comes up to the first bend. No roll look, totally flat through there. Hear the supercharger whining there as he piles out. Oh, no, no music for him to listen to, because, of course, the Atom hasn't got a stereo. Down to Chicago, look at that. No understeer, no oversteer. No car has ever been that neutral through there. Now, though, the real test, the hammerhead. He's running very wide. Very wide, actually. <laughs> but, God, this is, for, this is very, very impressive. Through the follow-through, will he lift? No, doesn't sound like it. That's how much confidence this chassis gives you. Right, down to the penultimate bend, OK? Ooh, locking the left front wheel under braking. Coming up to Gambon. Power on there, a little bit of a wiggle, and he's across the line. Where do you think he came it on this fast. board? I don't know. I mean, I, I would think certainly 126, 25 e. What do you think? I'm going to say up here because. Oh, with the yeah, maybe, what do you think? Maybe. I mean, look. Oh, oh come, on. come on! Come on! Tell us! Tell us! This is agony. It's going up. It's going up. Ooh! <laughs> no! It goes there. Whoa! It's quicker than a Carrera GT. And that costs how much? That costs. 29,000 with a supercharger. And that's a half million pound car. Half a million pound car, 29,000 pound car. The only thing I would just say, though, is if you are thinking of buying one, and I suspect you probably are, they do an optional big brake pack. Go for that, or you won't be here in the spring.